Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. So today's video is the first of my autumn content. I'm so excited to film this. It is finally officially autumn. I feel like I've held off filming this video until it was officially autumn because it feels a bit weird. It's still kind of quite warm outside at the minute so it feels a bit weird getting all of the autumn stuff out but in all honesty I absolutely love autumn. I love all the home decor stuff, I love decorating my house for autumn, all the cosy jumpers, I just think there's something super cosy about the season of autumn. So today's video is an autumn home decor haul, like I said I love decorating my house for autumn so today I've got so many bits to show you, some bits from that I bought last year and a lot of new bits that I've bought this year too so anything that I do mention I will tell you where it's from and where I can I will link it in the description box down below for you too. So I really hope that you enjoy this video, I have lots of autumn content coming up so if you are new and like this kind of thing then I would also love for you to subscribe to my channel. So I have so many bits to show you, I'm not really sure where to start. Um, so I'll start by showing you this beautiful wreath. Um, I actually got this last year, it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's this wreath, so on here it's on like the, the wicker kind of base on here um, and it's got all the beautiful pumpkins on it, it's got the beautiful seasonal leaves on it. Um, I think this was quite a good bargain actually. This one only cost me £17. Um, I bought it for, off for a company from Instagram, they're called My Home Inspo, I'll link them down below. Um, they also do lots of similar ones to this on Amazon and eBay so it's also worth checking that out but I just think it's so lovely putting an autumn wreath on the door. I would love in an ideal world to have like a full blown porch you know like in America I think that would just look amazing. Um, my partner would probably kill me if I did all of that um, but that would be the dream to kind of decorate it and have all leaves and everything everywhere. Um, but yeah I put this out there and then I think it just gives the house a real nice autumn feel. Next up I'll show you some other kind of leaf decor things that I've got. So I picked up this leaf garland, um, this was from Amazon. Um, I'm always a bit wary about buying home decor stuff from Amazon um, but I'm generally pleasantly surprised. I would, always, I would say always read the reviews and then it gives you a good indication whether they'll be any good. Um, so this is quite a long one, I might actually get another one of these too um, because what I'll normally do with this one is put it across the radiator cover in my hallway to create like a nice autumnal cosy feel when you come in the house. I wonder how many times I'm going to say autumnal in this video too. Um, so this one was $7.99 from Amazon which again I think is really good value um, and I just love it because it's quite long as well so it's probably I don't know like three foot long maybe. Um, so I think that will look really nice or potentially as well maybe laid across a table to create a bit of a centrepiece as I did that last year too. I'll insert a video of what it looked like but I'm planning on creating a nice autumnal centrepiece this year too. Um, I also got some other lights, um, some other leaves here and these are actually light up ones. Again I got these from Amazon and these were really good value. These were only £6 um, so for the leaves and they light up as well so again really nice colours so they're all oranges and reds and then behind each leaf, um, I need to put batteries in them so you can't really see, um, but behind each leaf here there's a light um, and then they look really cool when they're lit up. Then next up I've just got a couple of little lights. Now I got these from Poundland, um, really good value, obviously only a pound. I got warm white, I normally buy bright white for things but I feel like for Halloween warm, warm white works better. Um, and these are kind of like little berry star lights. They, they look a bit red here, um, but when the lights are on, they do actually look more orange. Um, and then I also got some of these warm white string lights too. So what I'm planning on doing with the lights is filling my glass pumpkin. I'd actually forgot to get this out earlier on. Um, these were in such high demand, but luckily I managed to get one. Um, and this is the glass sweet jar pumpkin. I picked this up um, from Home Bargains and it was only 3 pounds which is 
such good value honestly i've seen these online going for 20 pounds plus for the glass pumpkins on some websites which is just crazy um so it's really cute it looks like this it's a lovely glass pumpkin shape and then it's got a lid that you can take off um i'm still not 100 percent what i'm going to put in here um i'm thinking maybe these lights that i showed you here or maybe filling it with sweets but then I'll probably be too tempted to eat them. Um, although I did actually get these as well, which I thought might look quite cool in here. Um, these are little glitter pumpkins. They almost like look like sweet. These were from Poundland, so only a pound. Um, and I thought maybe these inside of here, decorated with the lights, might look quite cool. And then, yeah, I'm not really sure. I think the lights will probably look best in here, to be honest. But if you can get to your home bargains and get hold of one of these for 3 99 it's just an incredible bargain. Obviously also had to pick up some candles. I love this time of year where you can come home, get cozy in front of the fire and light a candle. It's just so relaxing in the evenings, isn't it? Um, and I picked up some gorgeous candles this year. Um, so um, these two that I'm going to show you next, I got from TK Maxx. Um, the first one is this vanilla pumpkin. Um, it says simply full vanilla pumpkin. And then it's got a gold, um, gold lid on top of it, which has got a kind of a pumpkin embossed on it too. Um, Oh my god, it just smells so nice. I wish you could smell all of these. They just smell so incredible. And um, then I also got so this candle was $7.99, which is quite good value, I think. It's quite a large candle. I don't know how big it is. Um, it's 420 grams, but you can see from the size of it as well that it's fairly large. So I can see that lasting me a few seasons. Um, and then I also picked up this orange candle that says fall on it and the season for sweaters, warm drinks and pumpkin everything. So I really like that one. Um, and then Again, this one smells really good too. And this one was 5 99 again from TK Maxx. Um, also got this little candle. This one was from Home Bargains, only 99p. Such a good bargain. And this is a gingerbread flavoured one. And then I picked up one from, this was from Wilkinson's actually. It was in the sale and it was only £2.50. Um, and it's the Glade one. It's the Pumpkin Spice Latte and it actually smells like, it actually smells like it too. This one actually smells really strong. Um, I haven't lit it yet, as you can see, so I'm really excited to light that one. Um, so that is all the candles that I got. Um, I also picked this up in, this is a little cut, where was this? This was from Poundland, this one was from. Um, again, so many cups online seem really expensive. So literally cups that look exactly the same as this are selling for £5 plus and this one was £1 um, which I thought would be perfect just for having hot chocolates and things in and also looks not quite nice as part of a display with my candles and things. Another thing that I thought potentially I could fill my um, pumpkin glass jar with or just use as decor, uh, the pot puree. Um, again, I just picked this up from Wilkinson's and it was only, uh, I think this one was 2 99 which is quite good value and smells lovely too. So I thought this would look really nice because the colours are so nice. There's got like some little pine cones in there some little acorns in there so this would i would probably either fill the pumpkin jar with it or maybe use it as a bit of a display on the coffee table or potentially if i'm doing like a, a big centerpiece in the dining room then almost like scatter this in between um the centerpiece on the table and think that would look really nice um also got a couple of pumpkin type bits um so these were from amazon i'll show you these first um these are just like a set of plastic squashes and mini pumpkins and things um so these were 6.99 these ones were um which i think is you know fairly reasonable and you could use these to maybe decorate various things around the house so what i'll probably do is put some of these in between the leaves or maybe the radiator cover um or also you could also maybe make your own wreath and stick these to just a basic wreath um also just got some leaves so again these were from amazon i'll link all of the things from amazon in the description box down below so got a set of leaves here 
And these look perfect just for scattering around and they make the perfect kind of decor. You can stick them to things. You can basically do anything you want with them. Um, so these are super handy too. And then also, actually what came with the squash as well, I've got these in a separate bag, were some little acorns. But again, these look super cute just for either scattering on the table or just as part of the display. I've got a couple of packs of pumpkins. Um, so I've got one pack from last year. So these are the, sorry about the noise. Um, these are cream ones and again I picked these up from Amazon. I would try and I would recommend if you are getting things from Amazon buying them as soon as possible maybe not waiting until October because I did notice last year that the prices seem to go up whereas if you buy them now well one you'll get hold of them and two they're a lot cheaper as well. Um, so in here I've got a set of six um, all different um, sizes really cute and match my decor in my house as well and I think these with the leaves just look really nice. Um, so I've got a few of them and then I actually ordered um, another pack this year. So this is actually a 12 piece set in here. So again, some bigger ones and some slightly smaller pumpkins. I'd probably say these are slightly more white than the previous ones. Um, again, I'll link it all in the description down below for you. And I think these ones were 12 pounds for the 12 pumpkins there. Next up, I will show you some cushions that I picked up. Um, so what I would recommend doing, rather than buying actual big cushions, I would just buy cushion covers that you can then just put over your existing cushions. Um, so I picked these up from eBay and they were such a good value. Um, I think these were only, they were something like three pounds, like literally hardly any money at all. Um, they're these fabric ones. There were so many different designs as well. I really loved the design of these two. I'll put the link to eBay down below. It's definitely worth checking eBay out for autumn home decor because I find it quite difficult to get hold of things in the UK. Um, autumn decor and Halloween stuff doesn't seem so much of a big thing in the UK and um, it's getting better but it's yeah it's not as but it's not as big as it is in America obviously. So this is when I got um, again this was like three pounds and I'll just put that on top of my cushions in the kitchen. And then I got this other one as well. So very similar in style. There were lots of different styles and designs you can choose from, but these are just perfect for adding really cheap um, autumnal decor to your house. And then they're really easy to store away as well. And then I did actually buy one bigger cushion. So this will kind of sit in the middle of those two. Um, this cushion here, so it's just a cream and this kind of burnt orange colour, which is really nice and goes with all of the rest of the home decor bits. Um, and this was only £6 from Asda. Um, this is actually a field cushion as well, um, but I quite like the shape of it because it's quite a unique shape compared to just the normal square ones. I also have some different coloured pumpkins. Um, so my living room is more kind of grey and black, I suppose. And it, I just find it that the, the orangey colours don't really work as well in my living room. Um, so I picked up some different pumpkins. So these, I have to be careful because glitter gets absolutely everywhere. Um, I picked up this black glittery pumpkin and this was from Home Bargains, only 99p. Um, and then I got one in the silver colour as well. So these will look really nice. Um, and then I've just got a couple more. These ones were actually little light up ones. Uh, I wonder if they'll, ooh. oh, it did light up. So it lights up like that and you can see that it just goes through loads of different colours. I personally don't like it lit up. I think it looks a bit tacky. And um, so I'll probably just keep the lights off and this glitter is literally getting everywhere. Um, and then these were again only one pound and they were from Asda. I have noticed this year actually, Asda's kind of home decor and Halloween selection is really good. Definitely worth checking it out and really reasonably priced as well. The next bits that I wanted to share with you are some kind of crafts, some autumn crafts that I'm hoping to do. Um, I'm not a very crafty person. I mean, I'm okay, um, but we'll see how they turn out. So the first thing that I got is this Hessian bunting. Um, what I'm basically, what I've been looking for, um, and I've searched online, I can't find any other than that cost an absolute fortune, is just like a bunting that says autumn or fall or something to create a bit of an area above my sofa. 
um, couldn't find one or if I could they were really expensive. So I saw this in Poundland, only a pound. And then what I'm planning on doing, um, I got these stencils from the work. So there's a book of stencils here. Um, I think these were £3.50 and they're loads of different fonts of stencils. I'm planning on using some paint and then actually stenciling the words autumn onto here with the paint, with the white paint, and then hanging that up. So fingers crossed that it works out. I will be doing a decorate with me video. So if you want to see if it works out, then I'll show it in that. Um, but yeah, in my head, I feel like it's going to work, but we will see. And then the next thing I'm planning on doing is I picked up this um, chalkboard from Poundlands. This was just in the kind of kids craft section. Um, and then again, I'm going to use these stencils and write autumn across here and maybe use this to create a bit of a, I'm thinking like a hot chocolate station or something in the kitchen. I thought that would look quite cool. Just maybe like a couple of candles, maybe some pumpkins and some like, autumn coffee syrups and things and yeah creating a little bit of a, a kind of autumn coffee station um but yeah we will see how this all turns out so that is everything that i wanted to share with you today i really hope that you found this video useful and it's gave you some ideas of different ways you can bring autumn decor into your home and also some places where you can buy things from because like i mentioned Autumn decor in the shops in the UK isn't that great, but it is getting a little bit better. Um, and I would buy early because, and I remember last year, everything had pretty much sold out. So I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I would love for you to also subscribe to my channel. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.